Pode começar aí, Antônio? Já consegui. So, today we're gonna. Now we're gonna do a technique pretty much from what Brad. Same, same role that Brad were working. My middle foot gonna be being supported by my outside foot. I'm gonna look to make a really good grip and close my elbow and try to push the palm of my hand under his pants. It also gives a good point to push him, right? And I'm here. By the way, he might be on his knee on the ground for now or up. It will not make any difference. We're gonna keep following the same script, right? So, and I like to do the same setup as Brad were working from here. I push, pull, and drive to the side. When I drive to the side, you see that my bottom foot are really alive, being supported by the knob. And you see that my elbow here is totally closed. If I relax my elbow, he knees lies, and then I get trouble. Right here, try to put your knee on the ground, but it's really hard, it's really stiff, right? I have a really good tension. And my hand on his lapel, which might be in any of the lapels, gonna be uh, just to keep the distance between me and him. What I'm gonna look to do now, my foot, which were behind his glue, better come here to his leg. To be sure that I have distance, I gotta keep my leg in, drive, and I pull him here. I gotta bring him to the single legs, all right? But what I want now is to close my legs. I gotta squeeze my knees, all right? Third thing, right just from here. So first thing I was here, now I'm here. Okay, I didn't came back to the single X putting a hook behind. I still have my hook for now here, because if I need, I can push him. The hand which were on the lapel will release and come right here behind his knee. And now I'm gonna drive his leg a bit to the side, just a bit. You don't need to come too much. Your hand gotta come right here on the end, on the beginning of his toes. You start to drive his toes under, then, oh, sorry, very good. Then I can get from here, right? When I'm doing the, what I realized that sometimes I get in a point where you're gonna waste too much energy trying to bend someone's foot like a here naked choke it, and that's bad. So when you get this here, be sure to drive it, like imagine you want to touch it on his glutes, right? So the torsion should be like that. Right, and when you have, you start to torse. Just from here, he might tap. In case he rolls, I release this hand, I come to his kneecap when he's on the middle of the row, and when he rolls, I drive him to me. Close, and I try to get it from here. This is a type of movement where you need to like speed drill and gentle doing, right? I'm gonna squeeze my knees nice, squeeze from here, I mean speed drill, just squeezing from here, he taps. Because it's a timing situation, you need to be like repeating, repeating, repeating because the guy will move fast to escape and soon he rolls, you disconnect yourself with him. So you need to be able to like relax, stiff yourself. But we're